Ladies and germs, thank you for joining me. I am Mo, and we are going to be experiencing night 18 of the Golden Quest, the final block B night uh, before the finals of the Golden Quest. Uh, this Friday, the 31st of July 2020, let's take a look at Block B. Uh, block A very quickly concluding with Lance Archer on top who is going to be in the championship match, the heavyweight championship match on Friday. Will he be joined by Okada? Time will tell. Let's have a quick look at the rankings. So obviously Okada on top with 35 points. Uh, followed by AJ Styles with 30 points. Kenny Omega and Pac with 25 points. CM Punk. Hiroshi Tanahashi Shinsuke Nakamura on 20 points. Minoru the King Suzuki with 15 points. And Katsuri Shibata and Hiroki Goto are going to kick things off today on our opening contest. In our opening contest is going to be Hiroki... It'll be Hiroki Goto versus Katsuyori Shibata in our opening contest. A very interesting one. One of these men uh, is looking to finish strong with 10 points uh, against against the other. Uh, Shibata is Jas's pick and Hiroki Goto is Clutch's pick. Let's kick this one off with match number one. So here we go, uh, Clutch versus Jazz, Hiroki Goto versus Katsuri Shibata in the final Block B evening. Uh, we are here live night 18 on twitch.tv slash mo2x15 and if you guys have been watching this on YouTube, we thank you for the support, thank you for the likes, the comments, the subscriptions and everything in between. As uh, interest for the Golden Quest. Um, well, interest in terms of uh, people that have had picks are kind of dropping off because they know they're not going to be in the finals. But the interest uh, on, on, on Lance Archer being defeated is very high. Um, whether or not he will be defeated. He's got one match left that stands between him and a perfect uh, run in the Golden Quest and the Heavyweight Championship. As the live poll goes up on Twitch... Uh, Katsuyu Shibata or Hiroki Goto, who is going to win this one? If anything, I think I actually uh, respect Goto more after seeing him in this tournament. Uh, I like the character. I like the wrestler. Also, uh, I've always been a big fan of Shibata. Goto, not so much. But Goto with a very memorable match against CM Punk, a very memorable match in his victory against Shinsuke Nakamura. Um, and yeah, he and Shibata are parallel to each other. Would you like me to provide my comments after this match? Uh, Jas, you can provide your comments whenever you like. As, Hi as Hiroki Goto locks in a rear naked choke. Uh, I want to hear some comments from Clutch too, but he's been a bit AWOL since his picks uh, have not been doing as well. As Goto and Shibata going back and forth. 
five minutes fast approaching in this one. The thing is, Shabar always wrestled like he has a chip on his... We haven't seen that same uh, Shabaka that we're used to seeing. Possibly due to the injury to the neck, the head area, um, in this very long and grueling tournament. And Hiroki Goto winning with 67% of the votes in the live Twitch chat for who will win this one. And a stiff boot to the face of Goto in that blue corner as Shibata takes him over with a headlock. It begs the question, if there was ever another championship tournament, would any of these two, would either of these two be involved? If it was, say, for, uh, I don't know, the Intercontinental Championship, maybe? Or maybe the US title, or maybe some kind of a TV title? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Cody over in Block A going the entire tournament with uh, no victories, but with two very solid performances. In the last two matches, he came very close to beating the undefeated Murderhawk monster Lance Archer and also came very close to uh, defeating Ibushi in his final uh, go around in the Golden Quest. And I believe. Goto now with a single leg Boston Crab on Shibata. And there we go, that, that, that head injury that we talked about could be aggravated there with that suplex from Goto to the outside. Uh, Shibata's neck connecting with that ring apron. Boom. Arm wrench from Goto. And rolling sent on as 10 minutes. There you hear the announcement. 10 minutes gone in this one. Uh, Shabar taking a bit of a beating. This is interesting. Uh, Goto signaling for maybe a running, uh, running sent on. Maybe signaling for the GTR, the Goto Revolution. And just slamming uh, Shabar down with his signature maneuver there. And almost ending things for Shaba in their final appearance here in the Golden Quest. The loser of this match will face Cody on Friday in during the uh, the, fi the, the finals uh, of the tournament. It looks like Goto was working uh, from Shaba's neck and then down to Shaba's arm. Yeah, he's working. He's working on those weaknesses. Shibar now with a Ushigoroshi of his own to uh, Hiroki Goto and just dumps him on the back of his neck. Goto asking Shibar to get back up to his feet. Goto winning the pole here on the live Twitch chat and also kind of Maybe having a better performance than Shabar during this tournament, which is uh, interesting to say. Thank you for the post check, Jazz. I'm sitting up straight so I can announce this and pull this one down the middle. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Shabata, PK! PK to Goto, could this be it? And Goto kicks out and Goto now with a running bulldog we've seen him use that extensively 
uh, during the Golden Quest, but Shibata again with another Ushigoroshi taking down Hiroki Goto. Great waist lock. And here we go. Up to the stretch. And Goto manages to escape. Third Ishigorochi from Shibata. Uh, we've seen none from Goto so far. But one is, is all it could take with that, uh, that neck injury uh, of Shibata. But Shibata actually maintaining uh, a lot of control in this one. Uh, deep into the match and it looks like he's going for another PK. And an angle slam from Goto. Um, Shibata rolling under the bottom rope. Uh, Jazz P, that was actually the fourth Ushigurashi from Shibata. Do you want to come on? Do you want to jump on the PS? Do you want to come and do a uh, play-by-play -play with me? That's the question. Goto really just no sold that PK, yeah. He took the PK and he was like, no. I wish I did. Come on, I'm giving you open invitation. Uh, we can do we can do the uh, the finals of Block B as we approach 20 minutes. Oh, and a knee straight to the midsection. Maybe going for another PK. And he does. Going for a cover. And again, Goto kicking out. And uh, the first Ishiguroshi from Goto. Wait a minute. Stealing. Uh, Shabazz moved, but um, he was under the bottom rope for that one. Uh, Jazz not happy about the kickouts from the PK. And uh, there we go. Again, Shabazz just dumping him on his head. Just dumping him. They go back and forth. 22 minutes approaching in this one. Shabat with a huge headbutt and he's busted open Hiroki Goto. Goto has been busted wide open as Shabat again connecting with the knee and sets him up and hitting the PK. This is all she wrote. Red Shoes goes for the count. And no! Goto kicks out. Goto's covered in blood but he kicks out. He kicks out. There's blood all over our Quintet donor names. Uh, across the Cerulean blue mat and Goto again just slams <laughs> slams Shabbat down and with a comeback Goto defeating Katsuyori Shibata we await the messages from Jazz Goto finishing his tournament with a win Shabbat will face Cody on Friday And there we go, Shoten Kai into a pinfall, 22 minutes, 55 seconds, 100% match evaluation, blood, sweat and tears. This tournament uh, ends, closes for Katsuyori Shiba with 5 points, Hiroki Goto with 10 points. Shiba will face Cody uh, this Friday as we close the Golden Quest. 
But up next we have uh, the king versus the phenomenal one. We're going to have AJ Styles taking on Minoru Suzuki. Uh, Jazz says, disappointed but great match. It was a good match. It was very evenly contested. Uh, it seems like everyone's finding their groove at the back end of this tournament. Like in the last two matches, everyone seems to be kicking into gear. But we're going to see what kind of gear AJ Styles and Minoru Suzuki kick into. If Styles can win here, that will put him on 35 points. My pick, AJ Styles against crazed pick Minoru Suzuki. Minoru Suzuki currently sitting on I believe it's 15. I believe it's 15 points. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Yes, 15 points. So, I'm going to sip some green tea. Get ready for match number two. Depending on the outcome of this match, B, B, block B could be decided. Yeah, there's a lot riding on this one. So yeah, I think we're good to go. AJ Styles versus Minoru Suzuki in match number two. This also being uh, somewhat of a fantasy matchup here uh, on the Golden Quest as AJ Styles, my pick, takes on Minoru Suzuki. Um, a fair amount riding on this one as Suzuki goes for an arm wrench and um, oh, missing the takedown there. Styles so far um, picking up more victories uh, than Suzuki. Suzuki having a solid performance. Uh, nothing too memorable here in the Golden Quest. A solid victories nonetheless. And it is pole time. <laughs> pole time for match number two. Who is going to win this one? Will it be AJ Styles or Minoru Suzuki? <laughs> Styles applying a camel clutch. Suzuki gets out of there and applies a submission of his own, trying to stretch, uh, stretch out the phenomenal one. AJ with an elbow to the jaw and a spinning cohort. An arm ringer and a stomp to the back of AJ. And just slapping away uh, at AJ Styles, knocking him down. Oh, and again, shooting. And wait a minute, Styles goes for a cover. That was a very uh, ingenious, ingenious counter. 
uh, which landed him, uh, which landed Suzuki uh, in a very precarious position. Not seen that one yet. Five minutes gone. And again, just working on that arm. And AJ with a with a very uh, signature Pele kick to Minoru Suzuki very early in the game. Five minutes and thirty seconds. Suzuki going uh, for the arm breaker. And the poles are tied between uh, Suzuki and Styles. 50-50. Suzuki now working on the ankle. Flying arm breaker. Styles getting to the ropes. Styles applying an Indian deathlock of his own. Suzuki cycle suplex. Figure four draping neck lock. Suzuki taking a second to catch his breath. AJ says that he's fine. He's just fine. Firing back with those forearms and connecting with a Larry. AJ is on a bit of a roll as he goes for the uh, rear waist lock, throwing Suzuki into the barricade. And on the other side, referee Red Shoes on the 10 count. Suzuki gets back into the ring. Going for a cover up to drop again, elbow. Not enough to keep down Minoru Suzuki, but we know that these matches could end at any instant. As AJ hits a pump handle slam or pump handle drop and runs in with a sliding forearm. Suzuki catching his breath. AJ on wobbly legs. And now that guillotine choke is applied. And the bulldog from AJ taking down Minoru Suzuki. Forearm, right, arm, right hand. Suzuki says no and connects with a beautiful drop kick. Styles connecting with a running knee drop. And a 450 splash to the back of Minoru Suzuki. AJ signaling for something, takes him down with a lariat. Then he's going in for another sliding forearm and he connects. Maybe he was going for the Styles clash, but Suzuki counters with a flying arm breaker. And a move we've seen a fair few times tonight, the Ushigoroshi from AJ Styles and a running knee drop following up and another sliding forearm is in the works. Suzuki may be rocked, he's not showing signs of it, but maybe there we go, he tripped up, he tripped up, he tried to go for a takedown, it didn't work, it didn't work. Styles signaling for something here. 
Wait a minute, Suzuki. Octopus stretch. And another low sliding. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Again, referee pulling for the break. Octa Styles is able to get to the ropes from that cross arm breaker. And Styles just hammering away uh, with those sliding low forearms. And a diving senton over the top rope, taking out Minoru Suzuki and then throwing him into the guardrail. Suzuki has him tied up in a gear team. He cannot win on the outside. He needs to get this back into the ring as ref referee Red Shoes uh, counts to 12 before both men take it back into the ring. Styles looks like he's looking to end things. Styles clash. Count it Red Shoes. Two. And that is all she wrote. AJ Styles now. 35 points. What does this mean now? 17 minutes and 12 seconds. This one ending with a Styles Clash and a pinfall. Match evaluation is 92%. AJ Styles now sits also on 35 points with Kazuchika Okada. Minoru Suzuki, thanks for coming. Three wins, 15 points. We may see the king again, but only time will tell. And right now... As we keep things rolling, it's time for match number f number four. Shinsuke Nakamura, there we go, versus Kenny Omega. So this is K-Max pick of Kenny Omega taking on Shinsuke Nakamura, which is uh, the Cookie Monster's pick. The Cookie Monster already uh, in one half of the main event, the final match to crown the heavyweight champion. Uh, this is his other pick from Block B, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Kenny Omega. In match number three of night number eighteen. Of block B. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we do this, before we do this, this was our co main event. Kenny and Nakamura is actually our co-main event. Before that, uh, we're going to see CM Punk in his final match taking on Pac. Sorry. So Perry is uh, Perry's pick of Pac, the tongue twister of the Golden Quest versus Stufi's pick of CM Punk is match number three. So let's get this one started with Pac versus CM Punk. And here we go, match number three, the final outing for CM Punk and Park in the Golden Quest. And our poll is up. Who is going to win this one? Will it be Park or will it be CM Punk? Park or Punk? It is poll time.
Pack with actually uh, one victory more than CM Punk here. Uh, sitting on 25 points. Uh, CM Punk on 20 points with four victories. Solid performances by both. And it's pretty fair to say, Block B has been pretty even. A uh, lot of guys in the middle of the pack. And then Okada and Styles kind of just slightly above, uh, reaching those days. Block A was a very different story, uh, with Lance Archer just destroying everyone. Uh, and Cody not picking up any wins. Cody will be in action on Friday against Hatsuyori Shibata. And Lance Archer will be competing for the World Heavyweight Championship against whomever can come out on top of block B. It will not be Pac, it will not be CM Punk. But this match is so important, so important to finish strong for things, uh, for life after the Golden Quest. Pac connecting with a European uppercut, CM Punk with a turning kick and Pac with a more powerful uppercut takes down CM Punk. Saito Suplex just dumping CM Punk. Again, managing to get underneath on CM Punk and just releasing that overhead German and ooh, maybe going for a black arrow early, but instead with a shotgun drop kick off the top rope, goes for the rear waist lock. But CM Punk very effective uh, at countering that rear waist lock and through this entire tournament with that. Stop Pack with a German suplex bridging combination and almost defeats him under seven minutes. Does Pack as they tie up again and Tian Punk hits a snap German suplex. And a big vehicle suplex. And a diving hurricane runner going for a cover here. First time we've seen him use that. And it almost gets the job done. And a very uh, delayed deadlift German is enough to defeat CM Punk. Punk finishing with 30 points. Uh, very, a very one-sided uh, match here. Very strong performance from Park. Match valuation is 64%. Ending things with a deadlift German suplex in 8 minutes and 16 seconds. Um, what happens to Punk after this tournament? We don't know. We don't know. What we do know is that now it is time for match number 4. So we have Kenny Omega K-Max pick versus the Cookie Monsters pick of Shinsuke Nakamura in our co Main event of the evening. This should be a good one. Let's kick things off with our first of two main events. Yeah. 
And here we go, the cleaner Kenny Omega versus the King of Strong Style. This should be a good one. In match number four of night 18, block B. The end of block B. Kenny Omega and Shinsuke Nakamura one more time closing out their tournaments with this highly anticipated match. Big match Jones. But Nakamura ain't winning, says Cookie Monster. Very little faith uh, in his own pick. Oh, isn't winning block B, okay. Well, I think that's obvious, yeah. Nakamura is not winning block B. But you can still win this one against the cleaner, Kenny Omega. Nakamura currently sitting on 20 points. Uh, Kenny Omega on 25. Nakamura just slamming Kenny down with that gold buster. Suplex and dragging him around. Dropping a knee across the throat. And it is pole time in the live good chat. Who's going to win this one? Will it be Kenny Omega or Shinsuke Nakamura? Here in their final outing on the Golden Quest. Straight into that world logo. And connecting with knees. And you best believe Kenny's going to look to repay the favor uh, sooner or later with a knee of his own. But on this exchange, it's Nakamura that comes out on top. Goes for a cover. Only a one count. Oh, Nakamura tried a quick spinning uh, wheel kick to no effect. Unlike the DDT from Kenny, which takes Nakamura down, follows up with a scoop slam. His back connecting on the ring apron as Nakamura tumbled to the outside. Five minutes gone. Step up in Zagiri from Omega takes down Nakamura. And again, going for that guillotine. Step up in Zagiri to Shinsuke from Kenny Omega. Kenny goes for a cover as Nakamura takes the poll at 67%, uh, winning 67% of the votes. Whether or not he'll be able to win this one is yet to be seen. Again, slamming Kenny down. Kenny using that front face lock to move himself out of the corner. Goes up for a moonsault. I don't know if he got all of it, but he connected with the back of Shinsuke Nakamura. And again, Nakamura going for a guillotine. Nine minutes. Up past in this one. And again, just repeated uh, step up in Zagiris. And now Kenny rubbing uh, his left elbow in the face of Nakamura. Outstretching his right arm. Ten 
Nakamura, we've seen him end matches this way, but Kenny uh, was close enough to the ropes for referee Red Shoes to pull for a rope break. And that might be the case again, or maybe not. It is, it is. Referee pulling for a break. And dropping Nakamura on his neck and head area, follows up with a shooting star press. We've seen him end matches like this before, but not this time, not this time. You can't escape. Kenny with that rolling fireman's carry runs up and connects with a moonsault. Nakamura way too close to the ropes. Kenny's building some momentum now. Runs in and connects with a kick to the chest. And that was almost it. PK was unsuccessful tonight. Uh, for Shiba and Shinsuke just dropping the double knees to Kenny and a backstabber again using those knees Kenny catching his breath for a second and a Hurricanrana connects and a stiff kick to the back of Shinsuke Nakamura Come on! Nakamura asking him to bring it and connecting with a spinning rule kick, taking down the cleaner. Come on! Nakamura with a stiff boot to the face. Kenny again. Dropping Nakamura on his neck. Maybe. Oh. Going for another one this time in the center of the ring. Kenny. V trigger connecting to Shinsuke Nakamura, repaying the favor. Nakamura. Another backstabber. Another backstabber. And a spinning rule kick. This time, Kenny had no way to see it coming. Connecting to the back of the head. Kenny connecting with a running back elbow in the corner. Nakamura just throwing Kenny out of the ring and goes in off, goes out off for him. And again, going for that triangle choke. Kenny with a poison run on the outside as referee gets to the count of 16 before both men make it back into the ring. And the referee begins the count again as both men find themselves on the outside. And Shinsuke with that huge outside person kick. You can't escape. And a signature rolling senton. Sorry, rolling fireman's carry. On the outside. Kenny again with his signature combination follows up with a shooting star and that's all she wrote Kenny Omega the cleaner finishes with 30 points ending his run in block B the match evaluation stands at 18 minutes and three seconds a shooting star press is how Kenny gets the cover and that is all she wrote for Shinsuke Nakamura 
and we have one match left but before we get to that we're going to take a second to pause for the cause all right so if you're on youtube right now we have a one minute commercial uh on the twitch so this is what is happening if you're on twitch and you're subscribed you shouldn't be seeing any commercials everything should be going as normal if you were if you were not subscribed it still helps it all helps to uh keep the lights on and keep the golden quest rolling um so yeah this is where we take a second to pause before the main event i'm gonna sip some green tea There's a lot riding on this one for the Nightwolf. There's a lot riding on this for the Nightwolf. Okada needs to win here. Uh, Dane's pick is out. Thank you for the sip of green tea, Nightwolf Jones. Two sips of green tea. And it is main event time as Hiroshi Tanahashi takes on Kazuchika Okada in the final block B match. Okada must win here to guarantee a spot in the championship match this Friday against the undefeated Murderhawk monster Lance Archer. Dane's pick Hiroshi Tanahashi. Nightwolf's pick Kazuchika Okada. This is your main event. The final match of Block B. Let's kick, let's kick things off. Tanahashi, Okada. No strangers to one another. Okada must win. And here we go, Hiroshi Tanahashi and Kats ah, Kazuchika Okada, no strangers to one another as the poll goes live. Who is going to win this one? Will it be Hiroshi Tanahashi or Kazuchika Okada? Again, these men, no strangers. They've headlined uh, domes all over the place, all over the place. But the ace of another place and the Rainmaker... Uh, Having their first encounter here against each other in the Golden Quest, the final Block B main event. Okada must win to ensure that he has a chance of becoming, uh, and I say chance because the un, you know, because Lance Archer is undefeated. Okada going for a quick, 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 quick roll up. Uh, not even two minutes into this one, Tanahashi not even allowing a one count. As Okada now with a snapmare takeover takes down Tanahashi now drags him away from the ropes and connects with a low drop kick. Tanahashi able to get up fairly quickly as they tie up again. Okada throws him into the red corner and just just slaps the face uh, of Tanahashi and follows up uh, with a European uppercut and just stomps him while he's down. Uh, desperation, desperation maybe from Okada very early on. He needs to win this. Tanahashi with a scoop slam goes up but then decides to come back down from the high rent district. Tanahashi with a bitch slap to the face of Okada. Okada firing back with some forearms of his own. Knowing what's on the line here. Runs in off the ropes and connects with a low drop kick. Kind of kicking Tanahashi off, just dropping him on that emote, uh, which could be yours. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the subscribe button, 
Uh, and if you can't right now, there's a way to do it for free. Just type in exclamation mark Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime. Fuse the two together and make sure you use your free subscription. Okada with a DDT drags Tanahashi away from those ropes and goes for a cover. Okada again with a snapmare takeover seeks him up and connects with a low drop kick. The ace. Uh, takes another European uppercut and an STF an STF applied very early five minutes into this one Not enough uh, To take out the ace from another place. It's, it's very clear that I make it's very uh, important that I make that clear He is the ace of another place As both men tie up and this time a European uppercut from Tanahashi and it looks like he's going for a dragon sleeper uh, but can't Maintain it for long as the poll ends here. 50 50. For who will win this one? Will it be Tanahashi or Okada? The Twitch, uh, the live twitch.tv slash mo2x15 uh, chat has spoken and it's pretty even. As Okada looked like maybe he was trying to lock in uh, another German suplex or possibly a Rainmaker. Tanahashi connecting with a low drop kick of his own but to the knee of Okada. Unable to get back to his feet fast enough. As Okada manages to take control again and just sitting on the back of Tanahashi and using those arms against uh, the one of a kind talent. Uh, this time Tanahashi attacking the, the, the lower the lower body of uh, Okada and Okada takes him up and slams him down. With that fireman's carry into a, a suplex and Okada first time we're seeing him use a springboard drop kick from the outside apron to the inside he knows he's gonna have to pull out something different wait a minute victory roll from Tanahashi and only as one count both men pulling out some uh, some things we haven't yet seen in this entire tournament and a senton uh, from the top rope connects on Okada. Tanahashi goes for a slap but is unable to connect. But that, that tombstone connects from Okada. Okada seats him up again and connects with a low drop kick. Tanahashi continuing to work on the, on the knees of Okada. And there we go. Dragon screw leg whip followed up with a standing senton. On a prone Okada. Okada now trying to lock in that rear naked choke. Referee Red Shoes calls for the bell as we hear the announcement for 10 minutes. And a disgusting vertical mm -hmm. suplex takes Okada to the outside as his neck uh, collides with the ring apron. The hardest part of the ring, Okada now thrown into the ropes and manages to hold on for dear life. Wait a minute, Emerald Fusion. Okada pumps himself up and hits a huge drop kick on Tanahashi. Tanahashi runs in with a forearm to a cornered Okada. And now taking him down to the ground with a low drop kick again, still working on the knees. Possibly setting up for uh, some kind of clover leaf action. Time will tell as uh, another. Drop kick from uh, Tanahashi, but Okada gets back up and connects with a connects with a big boot of his own. This time Okada missing with a drop kick as both men tie up. Tanahashi goes into the red corner, and Okada just just beating him down in that red corner. So much on the line for Okada as he connects with a rainmaker, and Tanahashi under those ropes. Red Shoes making the right call. Okada German suplex, maybe going for Rainmaker. Tanahashi says no, not right now. Okada with a low drop kick again, just working that move, working it over and over again. Spam like, some would say, as Tanahashi connects with a European uppercut and follows up with a center. And a twist, oh, oh, I was gonna say, it wasn't, it was a Dragon School leg whip. And here's the twist and shout in the center of the ring. 
Oh, Tanahashi maybe picked him up or go for a little sling blade action. Okada taking advantage here. Needs to catch a breath. Avoids the bitch slap. Okada goes to the top. And a huge diving elbow from Okada. And a clubbing forearm to the back of the neck. Tanahashi sling blade. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Another tombstone from Okada. Tanahashi counters. Uh, seats Okada up on that. Oh my god, what a dragon stool leg whip off a seated Okada. And there we go, connecting, uh, locking in that Texas Cloverleaf. Could this be all she wrote for Okada? And it's not. Okada managing to make his way out that one. And another twist and shout from the ace of another place. Goes up to the top. High fly flow on Okada. And a bitch slap. Tanahashi is mounting some kind of a comeback. Some kind of momentum. Three stiff palm strikes to the face of Okada. Okada is desperate. Went for that rainmaker. And another dragon screw leg whip. And again, locking in that clover cloverleaf. This time Okada is in the center of the ring. What could this mean if Okada gives up here and he's able to find a way out? He's able to find a way out. Okada may need to hit a Rainmaker soon. As he takes Tanahashi up from that fireman's carry position into his vertical suplex. Picking Tanahashi up off the mat. Goes for a rear waist lock. Tanahashi counters. Tanahashi goes in again with another sling blade. Goes for a cover. Oh, so close. The crowd stamping their feet. And Okada connecting with a huge drop kick to the back of Tanahashi. So much riding on this one, Tanahashi with another roll through. Referee counts two. Oh, so close. So close. Wait a minute. Tanahashi stealing a page of Okada's book. Maybe going for another sling blade. So close! The Rainmaker refuses to die. Connects with a huge drop kick. But it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. We're approaching 20 minutes in this one. Tanahashi showing that fighting spirit. Okada with a third tombstone. And a huge drop kick connects as both men go down. Needing to catch a breath. And Okada, again, working that low drop kick, as we've seen him do in the earlier portions of this match. Tanahashi with a drop toe hold. And another massive drop kick, but Tanahashi gets to his feet first. Uh, kick to the midsection. Oh, and another sling blade. He's in prime position. Oh, he should have gone for a high fly flow. He was in prime position uh, for a high fly flow, but instead he hits a sling blade. And again, Tanahashi's relentless. He wants this victory. And Okada says not tonight. Huge drop kick from Tanahashi. And a boot from Okada. Both men very evenly matched. German suplex doubles over Tanahashi and that is all she wrote Okada is in your main event against the undefeated Lance Archer to crown the first heavyweight champion this Friday the 31st of July don't miss it A hundred percent on the match evaluation, 22 minutes, 31 seconds, Okada dumping Tanahashi with that German suplex and picking up the win. The main event has been set.
and here we go there it is there we see a completely different screen um, we are gonna save this this progress very quickly as uh, here we see the next match Kazuchika Okada versus Lance Archer the winner to be crowned the winner of the first golden quest the winner of the heavyweight championship let's take a look at the league very quickly uh so we can take a look at the rankings this is how everything has ended kazuchika okada winning block b with 40 points aj styles just coming up shy with 35 points kenny omega and park coming in third place followed by cm punk hiroshi tanahashi and shinsuke nakamura with 20 points on the scoreboard minoru suzuki and hiroki goto minoru suzuki with 15 points hiroki goto with 10 katsuri shibata with five points on the other side we've got lance archer 45 points undefeated jones kota ibushi 35 points evil with 25 points tomohiro ishii also with 25 along with tetsuya naito chris jericho and sonata with 20 points angle and lesnar with 15 points and cody with no wins whatsoever on friday cody will take on katsuri shibata uh, in one of the matches on the card as we look at final tournament here And here we see, yes, this is it. This is all that remains, is to crown uh, the heavyweight champion. I'm pretty sure we did save our league progress, but we do it just in case. And there we go. That is the main event. And I think this is a good place to call it. We have one night left of Golden Quest. And that will be to crown the winner of the tournament and the first heavyweight champion. This is a great place to call it. So I want to thank you guys on YouTube. Uh, wherever whenever you're watching this and since you're on there know that i'm currently moving along the path towards 100 subscribers so i ask would you kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell on youtube and if you like what you saw click us a thumbs up and whilst you're doing all that what was your favorite moment from the golden quest what was your favorite move who was your pick to win the whole thing who's gonna win the whole thing will, will it be okada will it be archer can okada if anyone can stop archer it would be okada or is that just, uh, is it not going to happen? Is, is Archer going to be the first undefeated uh, heavyweight champion in the tournament, in, in company history? You're just going to have to tune in uh, to see very, very soon. We'd love to hear your comments and be sure to check out the notes in the description of the video. I look forward to you joining us again for the finals of the Golden Quest.